What's up guys, I'm Sean. When I take my Tacoma off-roading, airing down the tires for the trails, and then airing them back up for the drive home, is very time consuming and tedious. On my Tacoma, I run 33s, 285, 70, 17. And usually when I go off-roading, I drop it about 10 PSI. And dropping it 10 PSI takes about two minutes per tire. And it's very tedious on my fingers and I'm squatting or bending over to air out the tires. Today I'm going to be building my own four tire deflator and inflator kit. I picked up all these parts from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. All right, this is the Flexzilla air hose, about 50 feet, which is more than enough. The Flexzilla reusable fittings are that are going to screw into the tire chucks. This is the center unit. I'm going to put the gauge right there. One hose going out to the left side, one hose going out to the right side. This valve right here is going to be a way to let the air out. Some companies do sell this kit online, but a lot of places are out of stock right now, so I decided to build my own kit. First thing we're going to do is get the 50 feet hose, open it up, and basically cut it in half. Then I run the Flexzilla hose to the back tire and give it a little bit of slack. All the way to the front tire and give it a little slack because we're going to cut it here and put a T here and then I just dangled it right here because this is going to be my central point for the air hose kit same thing on this side right there make sure I have enough for the back and I'm going to cut it right here because I'm going to tee off for the front tire The hose running to the front of the engine bay. I'm going to cut off about 16 inches. And the idea is that we're going to use these T hose connector. Connect it here, here, and then here. So we can get there. I'm going to do the same for the other side. Now that I got my hose cut, this is the long hose that goes to the rear tire. This is the 16 inch hose that's going to tee off. So what I'm going to do is heat up this. I don't know if this is necessary or not, but I'm just going to heat this up so that I insert it, it will just go in a lot easier. Hose clamp on this side. Now this is the side that goes to the engine bay that's going to go to the main unit. And tighten the hose clamp. And now off that T, I'm going to install the Flexzilla hose fitting. I already did it on this side. I'll show you how to do it on the end that is bare that's going to go to the center unit right here because remember the other end to the rear tire already had a fitting on it undo this slide this through you want to make sure this thing is cut pretty straight see mine's at an angle right now I'm going to fix this are you going to use some soapy water if you want I'm just going to force this in here all right, I forced it up flush. Now you slide this in here. Use two opening wrenches to tighten this. And this thing is reusable, so you can always cut it and redo it again if you have to. So this side's pretty much done. Flexilla hose fitting is connected to both of these. Now I have the fitting for the rear tire and the fitting that tees off that goes to the front tire. So now we're going to put on tire chucks on these. Here's one of the tire chucks I have. This one locks in so it's a nicer one. We put the Teflon tape the same way that the tire truck is going to thread on. Make sure it doesn't block the opening. 
just tighten it down. All right, the tire chucks are the rear tire and the front tire. These are the two ends that are going to go to the center unit. I'm going to remove the parts that came with this. We can keep this on the side for now. This bottom fitting was really hard to take off. It was almost like it was glued on. So I had to heat it up a little bit. So now it's ready for the other parts. I'm going to start off with the tire pressure gauge. Screw it on. Let's put Teflon tape on this. And on the other one, screw it right there. Alright, almost done. Now we gotta screw on the ball valve. This already comes with a little bit of thread sealant. Alright, I'm gonna repurpose this. Screw this on in here. Alright guys, everything done. Installation is complete. Let's go test it out. I'm gonna leave this in my engine bay. This thing just slides on and locks in place. This locks in. Locked in. Then, let's see what the gauge says. All four of them equalize to this gauge, and it's about 29 psi, which is low right now. It's winter time, so the tires are really cold. I definitely need to add some air. Let's say when I'm off roading, I want to let air out. I just turn this valve off. Dropped it about one psi, but I can do this for a few minutes. The nice thing is that it does all four tires at the same time. I'm not going to drop it that low. Just add some air to it. I just hook up my air compressor. Then I just open up the valve. Now I can air down a lot faster and air up a lot faster, but it's not just the time savings, it's actually more tedious when I have to manually do each tire. Now I can do all four at once, so it's going to save me a lot of time and effort. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.